It's a blast to the past. We take a trip to some of Webb's finest back in the day. Coming up right here on this episode of Super Geek Saturday. Greetings beautiful mutants, my name is Shane with a CH and I'm here to share with you the good news of Geek. So I was redesigning my own personal photography website <clears throat> and then I was thinking, wow, you know, a lot of the websites that exist today that we think are so awesome and we revere as, you know, design idols, we often forget that they started as infantile as our own personal websites. So I nominate we go on a field trip. To where, you're asking? Well, back in the day of the young internet. Wait, that sounds really bad. Back in the day when websites were young. There you go. Well, how are we going to do that? Well, luckily for you, I have a time machine. Huh? Yeah, I got it off of eBay. It's some sort of time machine thing. Anyways, without further ado, let's go back on the web. It's weird. Everything just looks the same. So websites back in the day weren't that fantastic. I mean, the internet was still young and design, well, everything existed in tables and font selection wasn't, wasn't very much. So let's take a look at some really famous websites back when they first launched. First of all, there's Dell. That's right, the famous maker of computers. <laughs> Has a very, yeah, <laughs> Yahoo, huh? Back in the day, that's what Yahoo looked like. And then we've also got a search engine, which I don't even know if it still existed, but back in the day, I would always go to this one. It's web crawler, and I would always go to this one, funny enough, because I just love the interface, and I love the little cute little spider mascot. Yeah! So even back then, I was a sucker for cute little mascots. And then we've got publications like the New York Times. Yeah! And then, of course, we've got Facebook, which back in the day was called The Facebook. And yeah, this is what it looked like. That's right, the social networking website that you bowed down to used to look like this when it first launched. Oh, and then, by the way, this is what MySpace used to look like. And if you were like me and you used to make websites back on GeoCities and Tripod, then you're in luck. Because there's a tool online where you can take any website address and make it look like it was designed by a 13-year-old back in 1996. It's called the GeoCity Sizer. When you use the GeoCity Sizer, it'll make any website look like, well, this. This is what YouTube looks like using the GeoCity Sizer. Basically, you just put in any URL and it'll do that for you. So go ahead, try out the GeoCity Sizer and let me know what you think. I wonder how far back this uh, time machine can take me. <gasps> Whoops, too far. So that's going to do it for this episode of Super Geek Saturday. Thanks again for sticking around, you guys, on our fun little time travel adventure. If you love One Dose Daily, make sure you subscribe to us, hitting the button up there. And if you love me, this Super Geek, then go ahead and subscribe to my personal channel. And yeah, in the meantime, take care of each other, be good, and as always, stay geeky.